Yes, burn. Burn. Let's add a custom fuel to Minecraft. Okay, so let's hope that that intro doesn't get taken out of context in eight years and uh, people are gonna think I'm some kind of arsonist. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's add a custom fuel to the game. And that is actually really easy. So first of all, we'll copy over the dousing rod and this will be iron underscore wool. And in the name as well, iron underscore wool. And this will be a normal item in this case and with no damage, very important, just a normal item. And the way we can specify the sort of burn amount that we have is actually we have to register this. Now, well, the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a new package in our tutorial mod package called registries, registries, there you go. And then in there, we will make a new class called mod registries. There you go. This is not specifically necessary. We could also call all of this inside of our tutorial mod class. However, I personally like to have this separated a little bit and this is going to be a public static void called register mod fuels and then i will add first of all a system out print line just so that we know so now registering fuels for and then once again our tutorial mod dot mod id and the way that this works is we're going to say fuel registry registry is equal to fuel registry dot instance and then we can simply add to this registry. So we say registry.add. We can simply add the item. So mod items dot iron wool, and then say how long it's going to burn for. So for example, 300. This is in ticks. So if you want the number of seconds, you actually have to divide this by 20. So that's very important in this case. And we could also, for example, say, yeah, you know what? Even the pepper is, that, that would also burn a little bit. So we can also put that in for a 60, for example. And that's that's pretty much it. Like that's all you need to do. We of course now need to add the mod registries dot register. Oh, we have a typo in here. There you go. Register mod fuels. There you go. And we simply have to call this. So let's call this at the very bottom here. So let's say mod registries dot register mod fuels. And, and that's pretty much it. Now, of course, we have added the item. So let's also at the JSON files. When it comes to the JSON files, of course, we only really need to add this iron underscore wool here, and then iron underscore, not underscore, actually just iron wool, and then the item model, there you go. Simple item model just points to the texture, and then let's add the texture as well. This is, of course, also all available in the GitHub repository down below. Well, after we've added all of this, Let's see if it works. All right, we found out in Minecraft once more and let's see. So if I add the iron to the furnace and then the iron wall here and there you go, it works. It is burning just like we would expect any other type of fuel. So if we were to add coal, this would also work. And there you go. So it's actually working really well. And let me take it out and actually try it with the pepper as well. So let's see. And there you go. The pepper also works. Of course, we've only put that to 60 ticks. So that only takes about three seconds to get down. So that, of course, is a little less, but it's also pretty cool. And I gotta be honest, it's, it's really easy to actually add new fuels uh, to the game. Yeah, but that will be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like and I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.